Welcome everybody. I'm going to show you how to bulk upload your products to Big Commerce using CyberDuck with your images. The first thing that you're going to need is an Excel spreadsheet with all of your products from your suppliers. As you can see, I've gone through the spreadsheet and highlighted the categories that I'm going to be using. And some of the yellow categories are mandatory categories and the pink categories are categories I'm utilizing as well. One of the best ways to go through and decide which categories you're going to be using is to go to this big commerce university or support and type in importing and exporting products. This will take you to a very good tool. It's going to include a video. I would recommend watching it. It goes through some of the specific details around exporting the the products from Big Commerce if you need to bulk edit them and also importing them back in. However, it's missing a couple of key key pieces and that's why I'm making this video. Underneath the video, there are some res resource tools that my favorite being this column guide. So each of these fields would be columns within your Excel spreadsheet. The bolded fields are are fields that are required by Big Commerce. So you'll want to make sure that you have all of these fields included in your Excel spreadsheet. And then of course additional fields you can fill in. Once I've got that, my products are ready to be uploaded, but I don't have pictures. So there's a, two different ways that I can import pictures into Big Commerce. The first way, you'll notice that I've got a category for my image and it's got my image names. And the second way is that I've created a second category. I, if my images are already uploaded to the web, I can actually input the web address and Big Commerce will look to that address and pull those up. My images are not, they are actually downloaded in bulk into a file. If you download these in bulk, you don't want to keep these in the downloaded folder. You want to actually move them into a regular folder on your computer. For some reason, it will not upload these photos if they're coming directly out of a downloaded folder. At least mine wouldn't. So as you can see, I've got these image names. I need to, I don't have time to go and upload those and then find the URL for each individual image and then individually add those to my spreadsheet. So instead what I've done is gone to Big Commerce and under my my settings I can actually go click on File Access Web Dev. There's a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to how to log into WebDAV using CyberDoc. If you type in connecting to WebDAV with CyberDoc, it's going to take you and it's going to bring in the, not the most current, but the recommended version of CyberDoc, which apparently has less bugs than the other versions. And it'll walk you in, walk you through how to find your path, your, um, web dev password and you'll be able to log in. When you get into um, CyberDuck, you'll want to click open connection and log in. Once you've logged in, you'll have a live connection and you'll have files. You're going to go to product images and then click on the import file. If you don't have an import file, then you can actually right click and create a new folder and name it import. As you can see, I've already uploaded my images the way that you would upload your images. You can drag and drop those images. You can also click on it, control all to highlight all of them, or um, choose the image and control C and drop it in there, control V. Or right click and hit download. When I do this, this box is gonna come up and you can see that the download is complete on this. So this product's already in here. Now if I go and match these product names and I can control C that, I can actually search for that specific product. If you're doing a search, this is a little bit picky, so you're actually going to want to highlight the folder. It will not do a mass search through all of your folders. 
And you can see that as I search for this individual product name that I find on my spreadsheet, that it pulls that product up over here. So the next thing that I need to do, as long as the CyberDuck, I have opened the connection, these are now ac accessible by BigCommerce. So if these names match the names in my Excel spreadsheet, then I'm going to be good to go. So I'm going to go over to BigCommerce. I'm going to click on Products. I'm going to Import my products. I'm going to say, yes, I want to override my existing products and I'm going to choose my file. Oh, now if I go look at this, we haven't actually saved this. One key thing to note is that this Excel spreadsheet will not work with BigCommerce. I need to convert this, so I'm going to hit Save As, and I'm going to tell it that I want to save it as a CSV, comma, delimited file. This at least I know works for Windows. I, you would probably use the, the Mac version if you were going to save it on a Mac and there's there's the CS, CSV Macintosh. So CSV comma delimited comma delimited save that product and we'll be ready to go. Now when I pull pull this up I'm gonna see different I'm gonna see Excel spreadsheets and then I'm actually going to see a different symbol which is my CSV files. You can see that I've continued having various fields that I've brought in into this. So I'm going to click open and I'm going to click next. The next thing I'm going to do is match up the big commerce fields with my my column fields. And as you can see these column fields identically match my big commerce fields. If I come over, if I come over to this catalog description, I have hit aka product name. And so I know that that as I do that catalog description, aka product name, it actually brings that over. This is one of the reasons I would recommend putting the big commerce description at the beginning because big commerce will identify those initial words and it will it won't identify with words that are found towards the end of the column. So you'll want to go in and fill that information out and um, pull in all of these fields to match. One of the parts that you'll want to make sure that you're matching to is the image. So you can match this URL if I've got a URL. I didn't do it that way and so as you can see I've matched product image with my product image that is over here in Excel and which shows those various images right here. One note about product image is, and the reason that I have a second column here, is that when I go to upload it permanently, I'm actually going to rename my image as a descriptive factor of each of the images so that it helps my SEO rankings. So once I've got that done, I'm going to click Next. I'm going to click Start Import, and you can see my products being imported. As you can see with this message, my product import was successful, so I can go back to my products and I can view them. Now when I view my products, I'm going to have images that show up on these products. The couple of products that I don't have images, and if my images do not pull over correctly, I'm going to see an image coming soon, which is what I saw the first three or four times I tried to upload this these products. One, two um, major things that can affect these products uploading. The first thing is that when I had my import file I thought I would be a genius and add additional subfolders for each of my vendors and that way I could organize my images more, more coherently. Well, subfolders will keep these images from uploading. So if you've got, I had to go out and pull all these images out of my subfolders and delete the subfolders in order for these images to upload. The second thing that will affect this is that the CyberDuck is very, is case sensitive. So I need to have these exactly the name that I've got in my spreadsheet. So those are two problem solving pieces if you're having issues actually getting it to upload. Now when I go in and I click on a product, 
I'm going to be able to view and edit and further um, further describe my product. You don't want to actually have the products in here that are identical to the manufacturer's products. And I can continue editing. So good luck with your store and if you like this video please hit like, please comment, and please feel free to share it. Thank you. Have a great day.